Hi everyone, hope that you are well. Welcome back to a new video. Today I want to present you the difference between illuminance and luminance. Uh, two very important lighting parameters which we are using daily in uh, lighting design um, via dialogues or different um, lighting software. Um, and most important where you can find these two lighting parameters in dialogues and as well on the product level. So I will start with um, image, following image to, uh, to have a better understanding. So we have the two parameters, the luminance, illuminance. And of course, we have the light source, uh, which is providing uh, the, the luminous flux or lumens. And then let's start with what it means, illuminance. Uh, so to un better understand, illuminance is the amount of invisible light generated is light passing through a space so the illuminance is known also as light level is the amount of light reaching a given point on a defined surface area we will see also later in dialogues when we speak of for example task area so that's you need to know that's the illuminance so the illuminance is measured in lumen per square meter uh, or lux as you may know also from uh, dialog software or as mentioned early different uh, um, softwares which you are using in uh, making lighting design moving to the luminance in this moment so luminance is the amount of invisible light that comes to the eye from a surface meaning in the office for example from the task area and uh, of course reflecting as well a reflected light from uh, the surrounding uh, uh, surrounding area as well so luminance is often used to describe emission or reflection from um, flat of or diffuse areas of course and luminance usually we measure in candela per square meter in this picture is great or lux that's wrong. So luminance is just measured in candela per square meter. Good. Let's move on back to dialogues, and I want to show how you where how you, where you see the uh, the illuminance level, for example. So the luminance level um, dialogues after you enter the. Um, uh, the luminaire, uh, you start the calculation of the lighting solution. Uh, this is the luminaire used for this space, for example. Then you just click on results overview and then it's showing up the illuminance level. So here you see that we have, a, as mentioned early, we have the task area. You see also the level of illuminance so in this case we have 576 and it's also written here perpendicular illuminance so we have the average which is 576 so this is easy to find out in in dialogues i uh, hope that now it's clear what is uh illuminance and yeah where you how it's expressed um uh, in uh, in dialogues good let's move on to luminance uh, this is a little bit more tricky you have more options uh, we'll start with this so if you go on the catalog usually you can find it on the data sheet of the of the luminaire now that i have that we know exactly which luminaire we just go on the, we open um, the product selector uh, we need a couple of seconds to to charge and here we we can select we we have the code rc136 b so we can go just a sec up yeah we see this one office compliance and then we just click one and in this product selector you have here the button data sheet you click on it and then you see general uniform lighting create data sheet and it's popping up the data sheet. Then you have the zoom, you put 150. 
And here you see the luminance table. For office, you need to know that uh, the measurement uh, for an angle of 65 degrees, the luminance level needs to be lower than 3000 candela per square meter. Here we have also, unfortunately, here we have 45, which is 1919, and then on 90 degrees, it's 3319. So 65, I assume, yeah, that is lower than 3000, making this uh, luminance um, um, complying with. Uh, with, uh, with the office requirements. And here you have also the UGR, which of course uh, is determined by the luminance and level. And then you see here also that you have in two axes and the UGR, it's 19, which makes this um, SA luminar suitable for, for office application. So this is more, what we see here in this data sheet is more about the photometry of this product. That's very important to know. And here you have also as well the curve, the polar intensity diagram, or we say uh, the polar curve or the light distribution curve of, of the luminaire. But on, on either in the next video, I will explain more about the LDC shapes and which are suitable for the office application. So this is one way how we can find uh, more information by using this manufacturer, another one I could find, for example, on the uh, website on this producer. So as well, I took an office and then you just click on, as I said, on photometry. Here it's a little bit more in detail. You have, again, the light distribution curve, the two axes, actually 0, 90, 180 is 270. Explain as well here. Uh, very nice, the light output ratio. Uh, different luminance for different um, illuminance level with 500 lux and 300 how you can obtain it um, glare evaluation again here and we see also the two values which is stated below 19 uh, making this uh, luminance again suitable for office application and here on the classification you see luminance on the on the 65 degree is below 3000 candela per square meter very important again for office products so yeah that's that's all uh, the information which i want to share with you today uh, this i hope that now you have a better understanding of the difference between illuminance and luminance and please don't forget to give a like to this video uh, add your comments and um in the section uh, box for the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a good day and until next time i wish you all the best bye bye